Molly, I want to introduce you to a team of guys that are literally going to change Brian's life. Alan, his crew, these guys are going to bring in the technology into nice. this house that's going to allow Brian to get independence back in ways he just never even imagined. With the new technology we're going to put in the house, what are the things he'll be able to do that he wasn't able to sure. before? Um, certainly through voice activation, be able to control a number of the things uh, around there from changing uh, channels on the TV to opening doors to uh, dispensing beverages for his friends when he comes over. So he'll be able to, to adjust the environment in, the, in, in his part of the house by voice? saying it? By voice or by gotcha. certainly by all those things. And some of the things we've added is being able to adjust his bed in case he wants to kind of sit up and read, read a little bit or maybe watch TV instead of having somebody come in. All right, well guys, uh, I'm so excited about the fact that you guys are here because this really is gonna be huge for Brian. It's gonna right. change everything. Uh, the way he, he lives his life, the way he interacts with his family, um, and the way he can just get back to being himself. Absolutely. So, huge stuff. So, you got any questions for these guys? For no, we'll, we'll find you a place yeah, to work be and, great. and we'll get you before get started we get with that. Going. Awesome. We'll, uh, we'll go from there. Let's do it. All right, Thanks. let's do it. Hey, Polly. So how's the technology for Brian's room coming? Alan, Absolutely. show him the water. I mean, one of the things that we know is real key for someone with his needs is to stay hydrated. So we're going to put an automatic dispenser underneath the island uh -huh. in the refrigerator, so it'll be refrigerated liquid. He'll come up and voice activate through his uh, tablet. There'll be a little cup dispenser on his chair. He'll drive underneath the, the spigot and uh, say, pour juice. And then the straw from there will go to his mouth. A little bit of independence there. Yeah, that's awesome. Jason, show the bed thing. Say something like, head up. Head up. Oh, wow. No kidding. With this new technology, it's going to make not only Brian's life a little easier, but also his dad and his family's life easier. It's going to give him that independence back, and it's going to take that weight and that burden off. Paul is handsome. Now look, you've broken the bed. <laughs>
The technology in this new place is absolutely incredible. I've got that freedom again. I don't have to rely on somebody to be there for me, to do it for me, giving me my independence. Turn TV on, me being able to just sustain myself, live, and just be me. This tablet with it that I've got in front of me, it's absolutely incredible. It's, it's my hands. But we also know that you're going to be working really hard to reach your goal, which is to one day be walking again. Yeah. But for now, this is going to make your life a lot easier. That's incredible. You guys are awesome. You, without even knowing Brian and knowing the person that he is and that I know that he is, you stepped up to the plate within a week's time to come up here and help him. And Brian's life is forever changed. Life is a revealing of a greater thirst. You know, Polly came up to us one time and said, gosh, Alan, you're, you guys have done enough. We, we've got enough things for the show. And, and the whole team collectively just said, you know, we're, we're here every minute to work for Brian's needs and desires, whether it's on film or not. Here's your old bed, remember? This is your bed, the very expensive. This is my bed. This was the old bed. So we were able to do a couple of things to kind of spruce it up a little. The technology that we have all over the house that allows you to turn lights on and off opening doors, that technology is throughout here. Ask your uh, head to come up. Head up. More technology that we've added in here to make your life also a little easier. Really? Yeah. Yes. In the old house, it was a situation where we made it work with what we had. It was a little small, it was constrained. I could not get all of his physical therapy equipment in it. I had it stored in different rooms throughout the house. Now his bedroom is totally amazing. I was looking for his hospital bed and you really couldn't tell it was a hospital bed with the overhead hoist and the voice controls. That is going to immensely take burden off me because of the physical effort that has to be put in to actually lifting Brian. So many things that he has access to now that, that he would never dream, never dreamed of having. We really wanted to create a space where you could hang out with your brothers again, right? I know you guys love playing video games, so we figured out a way that you guys, well, could play video games. And with this right. adapter, Check this out. well, you can play with your brothers at the same time. So put this on your head. Wow. TV, I've got this huge projection screen that we can watch TV on, watch movies, play video games. It's just, it's, it's our place to hang out and it's incredible. It's all about really giving you your independence. And one thing I know that's been really difficult before is just communicating, whether it's a text or a phone call, you've had to have somebody else sort of like hold the phone and hold nine yards. Yeah. Well now, giving you technology where you can communicate hands-free using just your voice activation. So would you like to text dad? Text dad. Hey dad, come to therapy room. Send. Nice. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Hey, Dad, come to oh, okay. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Hey, How awesome hey, was that? Well, so now you can actually send texts. Season disguise.